Five, three, two, one, release, release, release. Ignition, good control. There's Mach 1. The pilots have started trimming for that turn towards space. Trim is now set. There is max Q. That's the point of maximum pressure exerted on the vehicle by the atmosphere. Those on board are experiencing about three Gs right now and traveling over a thousand miles an hour. That's incredible. I can imagine they're having quite a great time. We're at Mach 2. We're in the vertical headed towards space. This is the part where they're seeing Earth move away and seeing space come into view and seeing that they're going to space and just, it is an incredible feeling. The so we've got about Mach 2.8, Mach 3 approximately, and rocket motor cutoff. Amazing, the crowds here are just <laughs> absolutely going wild. I can't imagine what's happening in Antigua with them cheering them on. That's Incredible. Awesome. Go Keisha, go Anna, <laughs> go John. So everybody on board has been cleared to unstrap and enjoy that zero G experience. The pilots have unlocked the feather. That's the preparation so that they can raise the feather here momentarily. They're engaging the RCS as well. The feather is now starting to move on its way up. Everyone's up out of their seats just Oh, it's incredible. They're the all, I know, they're, it's, in, it's amazing. They're all going to the window and taking in this just absolutely incredible view of Earth, the planet where all of their experiences are held, everything they've ever known is That's wonderful. down below. The feather is all the way up. We have a predicted apogee of about 289,000 feet. That is amazing. Our crew looks like they're having an absolutely incredible time and they are officially astronauts. Welcome to space. Woo. Congratulations <laughs> to John, to Keisha, to Anna on becoming astronauts today. And a special congratulations to our Unity pilot, Kelly, for her first space flight. And welcome back to space, CJ and Beth. And the vehicle is oriented in that, that backflip or that upside down maneuver from our perspective. Uh, and you can see them just enjoying that view of the earth below. Oh, they, man, it's just incredible. I, I can see that they just can't take their eyes away. And it's, you know, it's hard for us to describe. We can obviously see they're having just an incredible time in space, taking in the views. I mean, it's designed that anyone can do it, as we've and, seen today. And the views are going to be amazing on the way down, too. So when we talk about space travel, right,